Greater Lawrence Sanitary District is a municipally uh, operated regional wastewater treatment facility that serves the communities of Lawrence, Methuen, North Andover, Andover, and Dracut, Massachusetts, as well as Salem, New Hampshire. GLSD moved forward with a feasibility study to determine whether or not adding food waste to our existing system would be beneficial to the district. The feasibility study did show that we had existing capacity in our digesters and with the addition of a fourth digester we would be able to make enough biogas to power our entire facility. The ban on food waste organics that went into effect in 2014 in Massachusetts meant that food waste organics could no longer go to a landfill or go to an incinerator. And GLSD saw that as an opportunity because they said, well, if we can bring that material here, we can extract the energy from that and, and use that to run our facility. So I became involved in this project back in actually 2012 uh, when CDM Smith and the district teamed up and applied for a grant through the Massachusetts Clean Energy Center for evaluating the feasibility of co-digestion of food waste with their, their biosolids. Technically speaking, anaerobic digestion is the degradation of organic material in the absence of oxygen. So if you compare that to the human stomach, as in the term digestion, the humans digest organic materials and turn it into energy. Anaerobic digestion in this facility takes the food materials, digests it, and instead of human energy, it makes biogas, which contains about half methane, and, and methane is the energy that is the same as is in natural gas. GLSD decided to move forward with an organics to energy project so we would be able to produce more biogas, which we would utilize to produce power and also have backup power in case of an emergency. When you introduce food waste into the digestion, that's, that's a, a food that has a full load of energy to it and therefore has a lot more impact on the energy recovery side of the process. So that food waste slurry can actually produce about three to four times the biogas per gallon of product introduced. So it's essentially supercharging the digestion process. In fact, CDM Smith designed the original facility here back in the 1970s. And I've been fortunate throughout my career to have the chance to work on a number of projects here. So this is a project that's innovative in all kinds of ways. And I think at a high level, it's a great example of how water reclamation facilities are moving from their traditional mission of treatment and disposal to one of reuse and recycle. Now that we've been online almost a year, the district has been producing a tremendous amount of power. We are very happy with the performance of this project. We are able to make a substantial amount of power and heat. In this case, the district can produce about 3.2 megawatts of, of energy from that product. And for reference, that's equivalent to about 2,500 average homes. How did this project come to be? You know, there's a lot of reasons. There's a lot of technology. There's a lot of process here. But really, it all comes back to the people that were involved in the very collaborative effort between the district and CDM Smith.